Hey guys, this is Andrew with MyWatchAddiction.com uh, bringing you a quick update on a watch that I did a review on previously. It's going to be my Out of Order Green Automatico that I received as my October Watch Gang Platinum subscription watch for 2017. Now, if you guys watched the review um, that I posted, you might pick up on something that happened during the review while I was trying to size the watch and get the watch uh, perfectly proportioned to me. Um, but after I sized the watch and started playing around with the watch a little bit more, I noticed something quite annoying on it, and that is the hidden clasp on the back of the watch would not stay clasped. So I could wear the watch, I could put the watch on, the watch works perfectly, um, but the clasp would not stay shut. Now, when I first noticed this, that it was going to be a real problem, I just thought it was a fluke while I was making the video, didn't really think much of it, put it in my watch box, went to wear the watch the following day uh, to work, and within two seconds of me putting on the watch uh, and walking down the stairs, it was already on class. And then repeatedly all through the rest of the morning, literally every 30 seconds, I was having to reclasp the watch because the watch just would not, the clasp, the hidden clasp would not stay locked. Um, so thinking that uh, there might be a simple fix for it, um, I reached out to support at Hello Watch Gang, uh, hello at watchgang.com to see if they could give me a hand. Um, I love the watch, and having previously dealt with the issue with my Grayton automatic watch, I knew that they would likely take this watch back in return um, and send me a new platinum watch uh, in replacement of it, but I like this watch. I like this watch a lot, and I really did not want to take the chance of taking this back, or shipping this back, and getting a watch that I did not like, which as you saw happen um, in my replacement, uh, the Graydon, most likely is what's going to happen. I would have, my chances, my luck, I would have ended up with another gold watch. Uh, and I didn't want to deal with that. So I reached out to hello uh, at watchgang.com to try and get some support on this. And simply what I was asking is, can I get a replacement class or a replacement band for this watch? Um, and unfortunately, and I recognize Watchgang doesn't have watch bands sitting around uh, to replace on their s subscription watches they, they sent out, but I was hoping they could give me a contact at, out of order to be able to, to resolve my issue. Um, they couldn't, unfortunately, they couldn't even give me a contact name or number or email address, um, but what they did offer is they offered $20 if I took it to a local watch repair shop, um, as a reimbursement, or like I mentioned, I could send this watch back and and get it fixed. Now, again, talked about it in the previous video. I'm, I'm not going to spend the time to go to a watch repair shop. Let me see what I can figure out. Worst case scenario, I would just buy a new band from uh, out of order on it. But on a stroke of luck, I figured I would reach out to watch, or I'm sorry, out of order. Uh, their customer support because supposedly these have a two-year warranty on them. Um, I reached out to Out of Order's customer support four times now. I've sent emails, I've left voicemails, I have put um, uh, left message comments on their page trying to get some kind of response. And it's been about two weeks now and I can't get any response from Out of Order. So if out of order, if you're watching this, I would really, really appreciate it if you would at least acknowledge my support ticket, at least acknowledge the fact that you have a customer that has a problem with your watch and is trying to get it resolved without simply just returning the watch and wash, washing their hands of it. It's a real simple fix. It's just a clasp. Um, so if you can't tell, I'm a little bit frustrated right now with out of order and their support process. Um, the fact that they, I couldn't even get an acknowledgement or response back when I was emailing and commenting on their directed support mechanism. So um, that's neither here nor there. So instead of just throwing this watch in the pile that I'm not going to wear 
Uh, I reached out to a couple of the guys in the watch groups to see if anybody else had had an experience like this with an out of order automatic watch with the hidden clasp. And what I found out quickly as I was talking to these guys is that this is actually a regular, regular occurrence with the out of order watches with hidden clasp. Um, the tolerances are just off just a little bit on the clasp itself and what's happening is it's not giving enough um, not giving enough travel in order to grasp the watch band appropriately. So a couple of guys gave me some ideas uh, as to what I can do and basically it involves um, you know making millimeter adjustments to the clasp itself which as you can see um, right here this close-up of the clasp there's four little teeth that protrude in the hidden clasp um, and actually grab onto the watch. You have to basically, in a sense, push them out just a little bit um, so, that, uh, so that they can grasp onto the clasp themselves. Here's a short video of what my watch was doing before I tried this little trick. As you can see, just by shaking it and moving it, the clasp is coming undone. There's, there's really no, um, no way that this clasp is going to hold onto a watch. So the main culprit of the problem with this out of order hidden clasp band, which is going to be kind of hard to see here, is the little clasps right here in the band itself. Now. I'll try and get some better close-up pictures, but what's happening that's stopping the band from staying latched is that these little tabs right here are not protruding far enough to actually hold on to the watch. So, you know, one of the quick fixes for this now, by no means am I a anywhere qualified to be doing this, and I probably should not be doing this at all, but I also personally recognize that I'm running the risk that if I'm ruining it, I've got to buy a new band anyway. Uh, the watch is not wearable right now, so regardless, I may have to buy a new band. Um, but what you want to do is push the, the little tabs out so that they get closer. I'm sorry, spread apart, spread apart further. Um, the biggest issue is that they don't have enough travel to actually grasp onto the watch clasp. But now, after making these minor adjustments to the watch, you can see that you can see that the watch holds perfectly now. Um, I'm I'm happy with the conclusion of this because I was able to resolve my issue and get my watch taken care of and to a point where I can actually wear it. But um, what this does call out to me is that I have a concern personally over my experience so far with out of order uh, customer support. Now, recognizing that I'm sure they're busy, um, I get that, but not even an acknowledgement uh, from them that I submitted a support ticket or that there's any kind of problem or that I even exist for that matter. Um, so out of order, if you see this, please reach out to me. Uh, the website is mywatchaddiction.com uh, and there's an email address posted right there. I'm more than willing to uh, reply and uh, retract any of my statements if I at least get an acknowledgement. But this is going to make me, this whole experience is going to kind of make me second guess purchasing an out of order watch in the future simply because this is, was just a very, very, very simple issue that I needed to resolve. If there was something more of a problem with the watch, problem with the, the movement in it, a problem with the work craftsmanship or something like that that I needed to get warranty support on, um, 
based on such a simple, simple issue and the fact that I didn't get a response, I have no comfort level that if I had a major issue with the watch that I would actually get the support that, uh, that comes with the, the purchase of the watch. So that's pretty much it. Um, just a quick update on my out of order green Automatico. Again, this is Andrew with MyWatchAddiction.com. Check us out on Facebook, on our Facebook page at MyWatchAddictions, uh, Instagram at WatchAddiction.us, and definitely please hit like, subscribe, and comment if you have any further input. Um, appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you very much, and have a great day.